What is happening guys? Brody Smith here back with Dark Horse Sports Cards with another exciting video for you today. Today we are jumping in to the NBA Prism Value Packs. Now, not too much to go for in this light behind me. There, it's no longer. I'm blocking it. Well, now I'm blocking it. Um, not a lot out here to uh, go after in Stockton, California. So I'm very limited. I'm here for a disc golf tournament. Very limited in the product that's out here. If you live in California, I am sorry. You guys have nothing in your Walmarts or Targets. It's impossible to find any product out here. But I did end up finding some of these. Uh, so we're going to rip through them today and see what is the best card we can pull. We got 15 of these things. They're about $17 a piece. So this is a very actually expensive video with a, I would say, very, very high risk of pulling absolutely nothing. So if you guys are watching, do me a favor real quick. Subscribe. It's free. Click the like button. It's free. And drop a comment down below. It's free. All those things help me. Appreciate you greatly. Um, so let's go ripping. These are very interesting. They don't have... If you want to look real quick on the back, um, the things that we're really looking for here is the base prisms purple pulsar. Those are number to 35. You can also get autographs out of here with the rookie pinsmanship. Pinsmanship. And we also want the glitter. The red, white, and blue are going to be the cards that you see a lot of times. The glitters would be really, really nice to hit as well. And then you have a bunch of inserts that you can also hit out of these. But we haven't pulled a um, purple pulsar yet to 35. That's the goal to see if we can pull one of those today. Um, the other thing I was going to say is like the format, like how these open and like how they're situated, very random. So it's very hard to look and, and have an idea of what you're going to get. But it does look like they listened to some people and said, hey, put all the good cards in the middle because you're going to at least see bases in the front. And then after that, it kind of gets random. So so Thompson, there is our first red, white, and blue. And again, I apologize if it is a little dark for you guys. Uh, it is what it is. All right, we got a Keontae Johnson rookie. Red, white, and blue. I like that. I like the look of that. And we're going to have a silver. You don't always get a silver in every pack. You don't always get a rookie red, white, and blue in every pack. Like I said, that is kind of the randomness. But we did get a silver here of Christian Wood. And then we have Jaden McDaniels. And we have a rookie, another rookie, another rookie. So we got three, we got four rookies, Sabari Rice too. So as you saw, like that was a pack that had a whole bunch of rookies. Really it only had 15 cards. Out of the 15 cards, only five were base. The rest were either rookies or some sort of parallel or insert. That's not always the case. Some of these packs are going to be much worse than that. That was actually a pretty decent pack, even though we didn't really necessarily hit on anything crazy. All right, starting it off with Andre Jackson, City uh, Ciesco, James Wiseman on the silver. There's a cool LeBron James deep space. Red, white, and blue is going to be Franz. And then a shade and, sh uh, sh shade and Sharp, followed by Matthias uh, on the green. So there we can get a green in there. Those aren't super random. Or sorry, those aren't super rare. But... Uh, Still nice to hit if you can hit one of the nice rookies on the green. They are harder to hit. I think it's probably harder to hit a rookie on the green than it is to hit a rookie red, white, and blue. Just because you have more red, white, and blues. Obviously, the glitter is going to be the hardest, though. Followed by the... Well, the purple pulsar is going to be the hardest. So we're Thompson. There's a Grady Dick. Patrick Ewing. We got Laurie on the green. Marcus Sasser, SGA, Walker Kessler on the red, white, and blue. Uh, Hodge on the green there. Kobe White on the red, white, and blue. And then a couple rookies on the back. All right. What are you guys' thoughts on the value packs? I like them. They're a fun little rip. They are expensive. I will say that. Like the value might, and just like that, I'm jacking up the lighting bike because I'm leaning forward. I, I can't figure out the light situation. You're just going to have a beam of light behind me. It is what it is. We're not, we're not set up for this, guys. 
But uh, what do you guys think about the actual product itself? Do you like ripping these value packs? They're fun if they're on the hanger just to grab and uh, see if you can pull anything nice. There's a nice uh, Carmelo Anthony on the red, white, and blue. Lonnie Walker. And then a couple rookies maybe at the end. A Wimby would be nice here. Nope, no Wimby, but a lot of rookies there towards the end of that rip. Still probably haven't pulled anything that's over $3, I would say. Like $3 might, 3 to $5 might be our biggest pulse as of right now. But that can change with Prism with one Wimby, right? Cam Whitmore for the Rockets on the Instant Impact. I don't think that's a silver. No, it's a cool card, though. Uh, Kawhi Leonard. Oh, I thought that might have been a Wimby. That would have been nice, too, on the silver. Donovan Mitchell, Global Reach. Amari Bailey on the red, white, and blue there. Amari Bailey. Uh, Leaky Black on the green. No, another. See, look at that. Two red, white, and blue rookies back to back to back. That's uh, that's kind of weird. That would never, you would never see that. And then look at all these rookies right here. You would never see that in football. Football, they had it very much to a science. You knew you were going to hit a rookie. You knew you were going to hit a silver. You knew you were going to hit a green. And then a red, white, and blue base or vet. Red, white, and blue vet. Right, red, white, and blue uh, rookie. Like that's what every single value pack was. But for basketball, it seems like whoever was manning the machines was just, uh, I thought that might have been a Wimby. I saw the colors. Was just kind of doing whatever they were feeling. I mean, here we just have a base card in between these for no reason. Bilal, Derek Whitehead, Fred Van Fleet, Chris Murray. Is that red, white, and blue? There we go. Chris Murray, red, white, and blue. Uh, Felipe, another rookie. That's another back-to-back -back rookie. I wish one of those was Wimby or Brandon Miller or someone. Okay, still looking. I think we're about halfway through this rip, though. Still looking for something here. Still looking for something. Deep Space, Jason Tatum, Evan Mobley, Anthony Davis on the silver dominance, Sensiball, on the red, white, and blue. Hauser on the red. All right, we're getting double rookie packs. There's a scoot. That would have been nice for the red, white, and blue. We're getting double rookie red, white, and blues, which I'm, I'm a fan of. We just need one of them to be the big man. Come on. One of them be the big man. Rip, rip, rip. Okay, base. Oh, that looks like a Brandon Miller, if I've, if I've ever seen one. Nope, Nick Smith Jr., Bird, Oliver Maurice, uh, <laughs> Oliver McKint's Prosper, call it Sexton, ooh, Nick Smith Jr. on the silver. Always respect the rookies, always respect the rookie silver, because you never know. You never know. All right, what else we got? Strother, I say that, and I'm just going to put that red, white, and blue over there. DeAndre Jordan on the uh, green. Kevin Hunter on the red, white, and blue. Mike and another rice. Wow. Well, okay. We are down to our last seven. So we're just over halfway. Still looking for the big guy. Still looking for the big guy here. Uh, Vassal. Thompson. Ooh. Is that a silver? No. That would have been nice. Bruce Brown. That's nice, though. We'll take that. Silver Emergent Brandon Miller. Very nice. We have a Chet Holmgren on the uh, red, white, and blue. Kelly O'Bre Jr. Curry. Uh. Trace Jackson Davis, Kid, Hauser, and another Felipe. All right, one time, let's get this Pulsar to 32. Come on. Pulsar to 32 on a big name. Pulsar to 32 on a big name. I'm feeling it. It's got to be here, right? Got to be here. Franz on the silver. Derek Lively, Kyle Kuzma, dang, wrong Spurs, Bobo, there's our guy, Bobo in the green,
Come on, Bobo. Cameron Johnson on the red, white, and blue. Dang, that was a crazy pack, and we just all misses. All misses. Come on. It only takes one. We're, we bought 15 of these things. We got we to gotta have something in here, right? Or else everyone's going to be running away from this product like the plague if I open 15 and we don't pull one decent card. There is... Uh, there's there's a nice Almond Thompson. No, silver though. Dang. I was hoping. There's Jalen Brunson. That's nice. Leonard Miller. Holmes. And nothing. All right. Down to the last four, guys. This is where you start getting a little nervous that uh, you might get skunked. And it's never fun. It's never. I'm telling you right now, it's never fun getting skunked. It's never fun getting skunked. But we very well might get th skunked there. Ben Shepard, uh, LeBron James on the green dominance. That is a cool card. Probably a couple bucks there. Harrison Barnes. Oh boy. Oh boy, down to three. Oh boy. Come on. Oh, me likey. Oh! Buffkin, Wiggins, McGrady. Oh, Trace McGrady. Jordan Hawkins on the red, white, and blue. Getting a lot of rookies on the red, white, and blue. Just not the guy. Or one of the guys. I'll even take... I'll take a Scoot. I'll take a Brandon Miller. I'll take a Gigi. I'll take a Derek Lively. <laughs> Down to the last two, guys. Do you believe? Do you believe? 15 cards. Damian Lillard. Chris Murray. Benedict. Okay, there we go. Silver, green, what? Red, white, and blue. That's fine. That's cool. All right. Did, oh! Oh, my God, the big man! Back to back right there. We got a scoot red, white, and blue. And we got a big man on the instant impact green. Wow, what a pack. What a... See, like, that's the crazy thing. These two cards... These two cards are probably worth more than literally every card we've pulled so far. Like, up until this point. that That's just what's so crazy right now. Is, like, how much these cards are going for. Um, compared to everything else. Nuts. Cam Reddish. Miller. Wow. We needed that. We needed that. There's a lively. We needed that. All right. Icing on the cake. <sighs> Purple Pulsar. Purple Pulsar. I just want to see what one looks like. I know they're, I know it's like impossible to hit, right? I know it's impossible to hit, but I just want to see what it looks like. I might have to bust out. Might have to bust out the knife here. No, I'm good. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. All right. Joel Embiid. Okay, nothing so far. Monk. PJ Washington. Vince Carter. Oh. I don't think we did it. I don't think we did it. Wow. Well, you guys let me know. Have you seen anyone pull a purple pulsar before? But uh, this just kind of shows you the, the hit to the hit ratio on this product is super low. It is fun because you have a lot of potential, but the chances of you actually hitting a big card is probably very, very low. But th this is our biggest card right here, Victor Green Instant Impact. We did get a nice red, white, and blue scoop. We did get a nice silver Brandon Miller, a silver Nick Smith Jr., and a red, white, and blue Keontae Johnson. So um, I think without that scoop and without that victor, we'd be in a lot of pain and suffering right now. But we did get those, so that is nice. You can see, I mean, this is how much color. Like, this is just half a stack. 
So like there is a lot of dollar cards in here, dollar, two dollar cards. So you can work yourself back, obviously. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It is I just like ripping value packs. They're fun to me. I do enjoy them. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.